Let's go with a quick and easy fried egg dish. Ingredients, two eggs, one stick of margarine, important to use the stick type instead of the in the tub. You'll see later why we use the stick type. Also, I have a container, container with uh, oven roasted turkey breast, great value brand, comes from Walmart, it's a store brand. Sliced thin, we're going to use those uh, three ingredients and uh, create a very tasty fried egg dish, quick and easy. Okay, I'm holding the uh, camera with one hand and I'm going to use the other hand to uh, do the work. It'd be a lot easier if I had two hands, but we're going to try it this way. I got my pan here, no stick uh, pan sitting on the, on the burner. Haven't turned the burner on yet. Uh, it's going to be a cold burner for now. Let's rub some uh, margarine in the pan. Notice, you have to see how to do it one handed so the pan won't stay still. Rubbing some margarine around in that pan. I always use margarine. And it comes off that stick a lot better than it would be if I had a. Uh, a water without of a tub, so that stick works good like that. Sort of like a chalk. And there's our pan. Let's turn some heat on it. Let it warm up a little bit. It's warmed up just enough to get that uh, margarine that I smeared in there melted. Let's go ahead and crack a couple of eggs. Okay, now let's uh, let's break up these yolks. Let these yolks flatten out. We want that thing to be all one piece, not no big yolks. There we go. Got it all flattened out nicely. That egg ought to start frying. It's starting to fry a little bit now. It's starting to heat up and it'll start frying. We're going to let it fry just a little bit and uh, then we're going to put some meat on that thing. Okay, it's starting to fry. Let's put some uh, turkey breast meat on there. Let's lay a piece right there. Let's lay a piece right there, and we're going to let that fry like that for a minute or two. The difficult part of this, doing it with one hand, is going to be uh, turning that egg over without holding my hand, holding the pan still with the other hand, but we're going to try it anyway. I'm attempting to take part of that egg and fold it over. Let's try to fold it over. We got it folded over. There we go. That's part of it folded over. Let me turn my pan around. Like I say, this is a one-handed job, and it's not easy one-handed. Let's try this one. Fold it over. Now, we're looking pretty good. I got a uh, egg frying there, and it's uh, folded over nicely. Looks pretty good, huh, so far. You don't have to use that much turkey breast. That uh, flavor, it'll, it'll permeate into the egg anyway, so... This will make uh, two eggs with two slices of turkey. And you can cut this in half when it's done and have two egg sandwiches. Okay, I'm going to attempt to turn it over. I don't want it to get fried too hard. Here we go. Flopped it right on over. Let's let it fry just a little bit. Not much. We don't want to overcook it. Okay, let's go ahead and take it up. Might have let it cook too much. I had to go get me a, a paper plate. Let's turn it over onto that plate. And there it is. Does that look good or what? That's a, a meat and fried egg. Let's cut it in half and uh, show you what I mean when I say it'll make two sandwiches. Let me try to cut it in half if I can with this uh, spatula thing. one-handed and there's a uh, half uh, that's one egg with basically one slice of turkey and uh, you can see the turkey in the center there that make one sandwich and I got the other piece here to make another sandwich if you want to eat it as a sandwich it's very good very good like this quick and easy no must no fuss hope you enjoyed